Glorify the King. 242. Never underestimate anyone. Father Yahweh, I come on behalf of an ungrateful nation. Then let me be the grateful one to say thank you for being a great and awesome God above all gods. This talent came because of my birth. June the 2nd, 1970, the Royal House of Windsor, then and now, always had my grandfather's house and his father before him. My father is alive. My mother is alive. I give Yahweh in the name and the spirit of his son, the Yeshua, praise. This is the G in God. This is also the representation and symbol of the sex. This is the resurrection of Amos' spiritual body. Who gives the right to deny me freedom? What is the purpose of democracy? What is the purpose of the preamble of the Bahamian constitution if myself and the life of my brothers mean nothing to our political leaders because they have destroyed a country, a generation. You cannot, Mr. Christie. Haven't you seen the people have shown Mr. Ingram that he could not destroy God's people before them in respect to the 1967 generation that confirmed and second the motion in 1968? I born two years later, two. Now, there's two men in the last 21. Two plus one is three. In the last 21 years, who have brought harm to me in respect to my grandfather's name? And I would like to know why. I would have you all investigated on international circuit if you don't answer me. Where's my friend, the watchman? I said to the watchman in 2011, because he stayed here in this home also because of bad political foreign direct policy decisions by a man him and I stood up for. We stood up for you, Mr. Christie. I said to him then, if they want to do anything for me, tell them, do it for you first. Where is the watchman? Have anyone seen him? Have anyone seen my ex-wife lately and my three children? I'm not allowed to go to the apartment. The only telephone contact that I said to Chief Justice to Michael Barnett that I will call until this matter is over is to speak in respect to speaking with her in regard to our children, three children, one of which is my seed that needs three surgeries. This is peace and tranquility. I deal with it straightforward. If I don't, the next generation, life is on the line, period. Now I send a strong message to, to, the, to all the intellectuals in the Bahamas. The 1967 generation had walked with Selinda. I honor their presence in respect to their spirit. And I challenge a human being to tell me otherwise and try to lock me away. Lock me like you have locked up away the majority of the Bohemian seed of this nation. I send a message to General Electric. Like this. I send a message to Lime. Power this. I send a stronger message to the Royal House of Windsor. I am hungry 
Now, my talent is extraordinary. Extra as sure as the name Yahweh. It's absolutely, unequivocally, ex extraordinary, extraordinary, extraordinary was the Yeshua. Period. Now, if the Progressive Liberal Party is serious about leading our country and have not spoken to Amos, I serve them an investigative notice of contempt in the name of my family, my little children. Now I reap enough and it's a time for everything. And it's a time to stop crying, Bahamas. It's a time for us to lift our heads up now to the rising sun in the name of the Most High, Almighty Creator who gives every one of us life to live. He has given us a country to be proud of now I shall castle on the system because the Yeshua was the light of this world he was, he is and he will always be the center focus I said to the former cabinet minister of Mr. Perry Glass and Christie now national chairman of the Progressive Liberal Party in my view a statesman all of us have our issues and I'll forget no one will deny me the freedom. Now I have castled in a platinum fashion and never again will it be said and seen. The talent will be said and seen and if they lock me away Bahamas, you'll never hear this again. Because by the time they didn't feed me, they have put poison. Now if I was molested by a male when I was 16, because I did the wrong thing. It does not negate the fact that it was wrong then. It will never negate the fact that it's even wrong now. Now I send a stronger message then to the religious group. You all have a good night because I'll be back. Plenty more of these to come. In the name of my son Joshua. I stand as a son of the living God. And I am no homosexual. And no homosexual will ever ever do Try it again. If you're a demon, I summons you from the four corners of this earth. And I'll show you a circle that you'll never see before. Now my God lives and he lives forevermore. And that's the bottom line. And I send this message to the world system. Recognize this young man is the seed the history books of his grandparents' generation that paved the way for these two sitting, the sitting prime minister and former prime minister to be and become who they are. And when help was given to them, they denied. And Mr. Ingram said we can have shares in a brewery in the Bahamas, but we cannot have shares in the telecommunication, pardon me, in the cable company at the time, and we, and we definitely couldn't have no shares in BTC Lime. Lime, let me show you what powers my life. It is called God. It's a candle, natural. Now the future is not oil. The future is sunlight. Period. Any drilling in our water will destroy our natural habitat, our ocean, our reefs, and our, our, our natural ecological, uh, whatever y'all know what I'm talking about. Now they didn't educate me. I wasn't supposed to be alive to make this documentary. But I'm telling them the world served them notice by allowing me to speak the truth. This is what you call first world. Am I saying I'm against the Progressive Liberal Party or the, or the FNM or the DNA? Absolutely yes! Zero! I, I, I'm with them. Zero, a big zero. I'm not with them. This is what I, I, I am with them. Zero. Okay? Now, I don't have to reiterate why reparation is necessary. In which way? Recognize the natural resources of this country belong to the Bahamian people first. And the Bahamian people must recognize, secondly, that what we have here, we met here, and when we die, 
over these things. We'll leave it here. Now I castle on everybody. Because at the end of the day, the next generation is who des who's deserving of this country. And if my parents did not have the nerve because technology or time, God says we'll say what and when. And I'm saying the history books of my grandfather's generation second it. Thank God for people like Sir Clement Maynard. Let me show some respect. This is also like they're representing a shrine of all these people's spirit. Don't look at the bottle. Look at another man. Garbage becoming my treasure tonight for the world to see. And I can't even buy a plate of food. Yet, what I'm going to unleash on the world on the 31st of May 2013, two, two days before I celebrate officially my 43rd birthday on this planet, they cannot hide this no more. Because no more will I ever be in bondage. This is what you call freedom of conscience, freedom of communication, speech. Freedom of expression? Good. That's all I need to know. I have the right to do that. And so when I die, may my spirit also rest with the great men and women who founded this country on godly principles and the crooks and criminals that are here now. I serve you all absolute notice on behalf of the generation unborn. And YouTube and the world will make sure I protect this long after I'm gone. This will last and my, the dynamics affect affecting government story will be around for at least 1,000 years because the Yeshua lived then. He came back like you all agree and his spirit is with me. I'm not the Yeshua. I'm only his humble turned 180 degree around black bohemian young man who is saying sin is corruption. Corruption is sin. Now, if you're a corrupt person, you decide. I'm not here to judge you. I have judged myself before the world in the name of the Yeshua. I have judged myself before the planet in the name of Yahweh. And he has rewarded me with the spirit of peace. A peace that surpasses all human absolute ungodly understanding. I am exactly which what the Hebrew Bible and every Bible says that the child of God am. Yet I'm not perfect. So God is going to fix me up. He's going to find me and bring to me in my path as I walk with his glorious spirit. General Electric, your power, your wealth, and your influence. Corrupt men and women in our politics in the last 21 years have caused me. Now I'm not going to put my blame on nobody. Had I lived like a decent young man, the young lady would have still been in my home. Let's talk about some stuff. Well, you know what? I don't have the, the space on my phone to go so long. But you know what? Go and follow the tapes I have made. I have said it on every national airwaves. I am not a fraud. I hate frauds. If you're a fraud, please stay away from me. Obviously, you don't want to be my friend. If you're a criminal in this country, murdering the innocent, shedding innocent blood, please stay away from me. I have three children. I have the children of the next generation to think about make, to make these type of things and even greater things. This just happened to be what I have to say. Because this problem is in my way. And I need the problem removed so I don't have to have too much more of this conversation. And if you absent from this physical human body, I will be with the Yeshua and Yahweh in the name of the next generation unborn. Y'all can serve this on the system of the world. <laughs>